Today we're going to talk about estimating with addition and to estimate with addition I'm going to use what we call front end rounding. That means I will round the number to the front end digit no matter what it is. So this one here I have 537 plus 85. I'm going to round 537 to the nearest hundred because the hundreds place is the front end digit of 537. So just like before, when I did my rounding, I underlined the digit that I'm rounding to, and that digit is either going to stay the same or go up one, and I circle the digit beside the one that I'm rounding. The circled digit, will, the circled digit tells the underlined digit what to do. If the circled digit is a 5 or greater, the underlined digit will go up. If the circled digit is a 4 or lower, the underlined digit will stay the same. So in this case, this 537, the 5 underlined digit stays the same because my circle digits are 4 or lower. Everything after the underlined digit will turn into zeros. So 537, when I front end round, I round it to the nearest hundreds, hundreds place, becomes 500. Now I do the same thing with 85. So I'm rounding 85 to the nearest 10, the front digit. So whatever the front digit is, that's what I'm underlining. That's what I'm rounding it to. So since the 8 is in the tens place, I'm rounding it to the nearest 10. So that underlined digit will either stay an 8 or it will go up to a 9. Circle the digit next to it. If the circle digit's a 5 or greater, the underlined digit goes up. If the circle digit's a 4 or lower, the underlined digit stays the same. So in this case, my underlined digit will go up to a 9, and everything after the underlined digit turns into zeros. Now when I put my numbers over there, I want to make sure that they're lined up. Ones with ones, tens with tens, hundreds with hundreds. And from here I just I just add my add my numbers. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus nine is nine. Five plus nothing is five. So five hundred thirty-seven plus eighty-five. When I estimate my answer by front end rounding, my answer is five hundred ninety. And the next one down, same deal. I'm front end rounding. Both of my numbers here are to the are uh, numbers that go out to the hundreds place, so I'm rounding to the nearest hundred in each. I underline and circle. My underlined digit is either going to stay the same or go up one. In this case here, the two is going to become a three because my circle digit's a five or greater. Everything after the underlined digit turns into zeros. So 251 rounds to 300. I front end round my bottom number. The five's either going to stay a, going to stay a five or go up to a six. The circle digit is a 4 or lower, so my underlying digit stays the same. So my underlying digit stays a 5. Everything after it turns into zeros. And then I add 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 3 plus 5 is 8. Once again, making sure those place values are nice and neat, nice and lined up. And last one, 864 plus 95. I want to make sure that I'm front end rounding. So I'm rounding to the hundreds place here, underlining the 8. It either stays the same or goes up. Circle digit tells the underlying digit what to do. If the circle digit's a 5 or greater, the underlying digit will go up. This is greater than a 5, so my underlying digit goes up to a 9. And everything after the underlying digit becomes zeros. Now I round 95 to the nearest 10, because 95 goes out to the tens place. I underline the tens place, that 9 either stays a 9 or goes up to a 10. Circle digit tells the underlying digit what to do. The circle digit is a 5 or greater, so my underlying digit goes up. That 10, I can't fit in the 10's place, so the 1 gets moved over to the 100's place, and the 0 remains. So the 1's from the 100's place, the 0 remains in the 10's place, and everything after the underlying digit turns into a 0. So I add these up, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 9 plus 1 is 10. And my answer there is 1,000. So when I estimate, I always make sure I round to the front end digit. Whatever my front end digit is, I underline that digit, and I circle the one beside it. My rounding rules still apply. The underlined digit will either stay the same or go up, and the circle digit tells the underlined digit what to do. If the circle digit's a 5 or greater, the underlined digit goes up. If the circle digit's a 4 or lower, the underlined digit stays the same.